What's up with y'all, man? It's your boy Tech, aka PSN. Commanders Network knows the protest sports network. We were back with another voiceover. Excuse any noise in the background. I am walking to work as I'm recording this video. AGT, your glory to God, man. Our God's right now, God's going to do it. People are going to do it. Amen. man. Today's video, we're about to rap about uh, Josina Anderson today. You know what I'm saying? See how he's spilling the tea and such about the Washington Commanders and the coach situation. And what's next for Ron Rivera and all that? Let's see what he's just, what she's talking about. As you can see, it's a long soliloquy. I'm not reading all this crap. But, you know, you can read if you want to. But this is after they come in the 40 to 20 spanking from the Bears. The Bears <laughs> on some Thursday Night Football. Uh, basically, he's just saying that the clock is ticking on Ron. And the last thing he wants is a loss like, that's to, loss like this to impact his ticket sales because of that nature. He, did, he literally just brought the fans back out to buying the team back in July. He ain't on the team for three months, y'all. He don't want to be losing, you know what I'm saying, potential profits. Because at the end of the day, he's an owner. And the owners want to make money. <laughs> That's the number one thing he cares about is profit. He don't. He, I'm not saying he don't care about winning at all, but he know winning does bring profit. And he thought the team would look a lot better after five weeks and a two and three record on a three-game skid getting spanked by the winless Bears at the time. That's an absolute no-no in my opinion. And I think it's a no-no. Also, in Josh Harris's opinion as well. Also brought up, you know, the coordinated decision, stuff like that. But uh, with Chris Harris, uh, no longer being a defensive coordinator after being a defensive, well, not a defensive coordinator, but the secondary's coach uh, after three years. And now he's no longer here, but he still has Jack Del Rio here. So uh, I'll read this real quick. My understanding overall is Harris does welcome uh, consult from other owners also understands that that early searches can be beneficial if he elects to go that route but moves that customarily occur closer to the co closer to the beginning of the coaching carousel now i'm told some of the other limited partners will have their own thoughts and you can read between the lines there we'll see how things settle as the season evolves there is still time for better results but the clock is ticking tick 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 Tick, tick, tick. Time for Ron to pack his ish. Time to go about this. <laughs> Let me stop playing, but nah, for real. Tick, 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 tick. Time is ticking on one Ronald Eugene Rivera, man. He got to bring some results, so it was nice knowing him, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Four years, no winning seasons yet. No season above 500. You know what I'm saying? He ain't have a quarterback. But he did trade for Carson Wentz and did not put an offensive line in front of him for some stupid reason. And then that failed. Uh, the Dwayne Haskins thing, he didn't want Dwayne to work out, man. We know that was. But what does this really mean for Ron, man? I think Ron got a month. Ron got a four-week time span to either get this thing together or get fired. I really believe that. I think he'll be fired by the end of October if he don't get his act together. You got, the, you got the Falcons this week. You got the Giants next week. You got the Philadelphia Eagles after that. And then you had the New England Patriots. So if he doesn't win the three out of the next four uh, to get to that will make the Commanders five and four. If he's not above 500 after nine games, I think they pulled a plug on Ron. And uh, Ron, the Ron's plan uh, experiment's over. Ron Eugene Rivera will no longer have a job as a commander, as commander's head coach. And I think they're going to go with Eric Bienemy and take that route. Give Eric Bienemy eight games to see what he can do. And if Airbnb doesn't work out to where the commanders could fight for a playoff spot or even get a playoff spot, then they're going to go ahead and go pick up their own guys and get their own GM, get their own head coach, uh, get their own VP of football operations, all that type of stuff in the offseason. And they're going to roll with the guys they chose. You know what I'm saying? They didn't choose these guys. They inherited them. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, for real, for real, I'm keeping a whole Rakiana with you. This season's all about can Eric Bieni become a head coach in this league and can Sam Howell be the guy? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to make the playoffs. I still do, but the same token, when you lose to the Bears, bro, you don't deserve to make the playoffs, bro. When you lose to a team that was winless and they come in your town and destroy you and obliterate you and literally wipe you off the map, you do not deserve to make the playoffs. That means you came unprepared, not ready to play. That's completely on Ronald Eugene Rivera. Because he's the head coach at the end of the day. Yes, he gives responsibility to his coordinators. I understand that. But at the end of the day, bro, you're supposed to have your team motivated, ready to play. And the fact that at halftime you said that, bro, as the players talking amongst themselves, you had nothing to say, Slim, after being down 24, 24 points at halftime, getting spanked. 
making uh, DJ more like Tyreek Hill out there. You had nothing to say, Slim? Man, Ronald Jr. Rivera, get out of my face, bro. You suck, man. You're not a good head coach. You're a good motivator. You're a good man. I respect you as a man, but as a coach, you suck. I'm tired of you, bro. You're not good. I want you fired. You're not good. You did change the culture, and I do appreciate that, but you're not a good head coach. Like, comment, subscribe, comment your thoughts, man. Uh, what are your thoughts on this video? Go follow this on the Instagram. Go follow my brother in the description. Until next time, peace.